Down behind Wedderburn, there is Minerva Pools, that is sacred to the women and children of the feral people. As I approach this area, I can just feel my head wandering off somewhere else and seeing the women leaving their children and the children playing. Whilst the men were hunting with their warmers for dinner. They would bring back animals that they would cook in the ashes of their fire, boiling, steaming in a ground oven and roasting over on the cold. They'd make clothing out of the skins of these animals so nothing would go to waste. They used to snack on insects like ants, grubs, moths, and beetles, while streams provided fish and beetles. Aboriginals made huts out of sticks, bark, and clay. Some lived in caves and used rocks overhangs for shelter. As I explored the area, I came across a very special cave with a smaller opening but it opened up once inside this cave was used by the feral women to birth their children after seeing this pristine environment i start to wonder what the aboriginals felt like when they saw captain cook landing so off we went to the landing site of captain cook Here's the landing site of Captain Cook, 258. From what I have said of the natives of New Holland, they may appear to some to be the most wretched people upon earth, but in reality they are far more happier than the Europeans. They live in a tranquility which is not disturbed by the inequality of the condition, the earth and sea of the accord furnishes them with all things necessary for life. Diary of Captain Cook, 23rd of, of August, 1770. This is a recreation of the canoes that Whilst the aboriginals watched the ship sail in, they didn't know that the whole of Australia was going to change forever. The Europeans came ashore and stole the land from the aboriginals and changed the way they lived. Bringing with them diseases that Australia hadn't seen. This caused so many deaths among the Aboriginal people who were also treated like prisoners and blamed for crimes, like stealing sheep and cattle. This was the reason the Appen massacre occurred. Europeans started to attack the Aboriginal men's camp, killing them, cutting off some of their heads. They forced women and children off these cliffs causing a lot of deaths. This makes me so sad, I can only imagine how terrified they would have been. Still to this day, the Aboriginals are fighting for their rights. Can you please tell me a bit about your family and their origins? Okay, after the Appen Massacre, and there were still conflicts up until 1816, they were, they were known as the cow pasture people. We are from Durrawal people, but our tribe is called Cabbage Barda, and it means white pipe clay, and we were from Camden. In 1818, James Meehan marked some land out on MacArthur's Camden estate for Aborigines to live there, so they would be under the protection of the MacArthur's. 
and my ancestors and family lived on that property right up until um, it was no longer Camden Park Estate and it is now known as Belgeny Farm. Do you know any words from your native language? Every Aboriginal area has their own language. So from around here, a lot has been lost. Christy has grandfather tattooed across the back of her neck for Poppy. Gumman. 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 G-U-M-A-N. Gumman is grandfather. Can you say it? Gumman. Gumman. I've read some language groups have totems. Do you have, do you know that what the totem is called? Okay. Um, the, well, the Daryl wolf is a liar bird. The Liebird, and you read about the Liebird, didn't you? What was the book called? Woodbury. Do you know any other interesting facts? Out of Belgeny Farm, there's a house there that has a lot of memorabilia and different things in it, and memorabilia that you can buy. Uh, we were out there and my father was actually going through it saying, okay, that was my bedroom, that's my grandmother's bedroom, because he lived at Belgeny Farm. And there's another house out there that has a lot of photos of the Aboriginals from the area and my great grandfather's photos there. And yeah, so they live there the, under the guidance and protection of the Macarpas. There was actually a paddock on the Camden Park estate known as Budbury. And that's where they lived. I've, throughout this assignment, I've learned a lot about the Aboriginals, the huts that they used to live in, the food that they ate, and all that kind of stuff. And I also learned about how the British also infected the Aboriginals with a virus. And also, through this assignment, I've learned that one of my ancestors are, is from Pajong, the Pajong Fish River tribe.